Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Etho, and welcome back to episode number three of Crash Landing. <laughs> so, guys, it's probably been a few days since you saw my last episode, and it's been a few days since I last recorded it, so I'm a little bit out of the loop here. We should take a moment to try to remember where we left off. So let's look at our inventory. Wait a second. So we got lots of zombie flesh. We have lots of bones. Um, not a lot of water. Only a little bit of jerky here. There, let's have a bite. Oh, we have even less food now. I just ate some. <laughs> so we're pretty low on food. Oh, there's a there's a silkworm here. Nom, 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 nom. That's like my best meal right there. So this episode, we should try to address our food situation. I did figure out the water situation pretty good, though. We made the shears. And that lets that lets us get leaves. We can compost these into dirt, and then convert the dirt into water somehow. I don't understand how it works. It's science. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, we should probably make some more barrels. Let's go ahead and do that. That way, we don't spend this whole series watching dirt compost. <laughs> as exciting as that sounds, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, it's fun watching dirt compost, but. Uh, where should we put this? Should we put them? We're running out of space in our spaceship here. <laughs> as ironic as that sounds, I think I will put them here. And put some leaves in these, turn that to dirt. Oh, would you look at this? Look at this dirt composting action. This is exciting. Oh. Oh, it's turning brown. So exciting. No. <laughs> uh, let's stop wasting time. We don't have a lot of it. All right, so yeah, Got water. With the dirt, we can make water. It's science. I don't get it. But somehow dirt makes water. <laughs> and then you smelt it. That removes the impurities, and we get pure water. Put that in our camel pack. It's, it's amazing. Uh, we should probably go outside and chop some more trees, though, before it gets too late. Yeah, let's do that. Um, where's the sun at? Oh, we got a little bit of time anyway. So let's do this. Very good. We made the axe last time. We should probably make some more tools, though. I would really like to get a pick, maybe a shovel. I don't know if we can make an excavator, but if we can, that would be amazing. That's the 3x3 three three shovel. Oh, yeah. This is so much better than... <laughs> uh, than uh, trying to use saplings for water. That That would not have worked out too well. Not for very long. Oh yeah, and you guys told me, I was reading the comments, apparently if I get one of those silkworms, let's make a bone crook real quick. I need this to get them. If I get one of those silkworms, you said I can infest a tree with them? And then, I think when I chop it down, I get lots of silkworms and string, but we will have to see. Hopefully we get one here. I also need 10 saplings for one of the quests, and this gives us double sap. Double saplings, I believe. Yeah, we're getting lots here. This is great. It's wonderful. Um, still not a lot of confidence in my ability in the comments. I saw a lot of people saying I'm going to die still. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm worried. Um, but we will, we will go as long as we can. I feel like we're in a good spot now, though. Really. Another big thing people are saying for me to drink that water there. That is salt water, guys. You know, I can't I can drink it, but I shouldn't. And that's not me saying that. That's science. Science says salt water bad for you. Don't drink it. Um Did I get a silkworm? No. Let's let's try to get a silkworm. They're pretty rare. I think you usually get like one or two per tree though. Uh, yeah, and if I uh, smelt that salt water in the furnace, it gives you salt. It doesn't give you water. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I, um, yeah, so we have to get dirty water. Come on, give me a silkworm! <laughs> no, I didn't get one. Is there one on the ground? Unreal! I can't believe how unlucky I'm getting here. We just need one, just to try it. Nope. 
I don't think I got one. Oh, and I'm sweating a lot here. Let's try one more time. It's almost night time. We don't really have a lot of time here. I kind of wanted to try to dig a trench before night, but I don't know. We're kind of pushing the limits here. The sun's just about set. And I can't get a silkworm. <laughs> I think we got enough saplings now, though, to do that quest. Alright, come on. Just one. Give me one silkworm. Did I get it? Still didn't get it. Come on. What is going on? Is it on the ground? Is there any on the ground? No, we didn't get one. Unreal. That was like three trees and we didn't get a single one. Alright, we gotta get inside. It's getting way too late. Let's get our glass ready. I will try to dig a trench here really quick if I can. Although having a trench by the door might not be the best idea. <laughs> I'm not sure. Because then in the morning they're all going to be like right here and I... Hmm. We'll try it. Pretty sure we're almost out of time though. Are they spawning? It's still no mobs spawning. We still have a little time. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Still no mobs. Oh, here comes the mobs. Oh, they found me. What? Oh, it's a little guy. He's punching me. Oh, he's quick as can be. Look at those guys. Look at that guy. What on earth? He's flying them 60 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. <laughs> he gets launched back in time if he's not careful. All right, we almost died there. That was bad. Uh, oh, we need uh, water. Let's get more water going. Yeah, we never got a silkworm. Unbelievable. All right, we are sweating. Should be okay. I believe if I get to uh, 39 degrees Celsius is when I get the heat stroke. Um, so we have to really watch out for that because then my water drains like crazy. Here, let's get more dirt composting. Oh, and our health is recovering too. That's good. Alright. Get more water going. Kind of just want to get a supply of water. Like a backlog of it. So that we don't have to worry about it. Um, but we need to work out the food. Whoops. Okay, what, what do we have for quests? I remember there was... Uh, Let's see, cooking utensils. Oh, I think we gotta make all those. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Stone hammer, we need stone for that. And then there's the sapling one. Can we do this? So it says, I'm confused about this. It says, uh, what was it? Liquid transposer. These are fluid transposers. I think it means that though, right? Or is there another machine with a similar name? But we'll take one of these batteries, we'll try it out. And it says we need 10 of them. Oh. I think it's working. So what's this going to do? Is this going to make a bucket of water? Oh, what? Oh, it gives you a stick and then there's a tenth of a bucket in there. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I guess it makes a bucket of water. That's cool. Then I can probably make an infinite spring. Uh, let's do this. Get these going. I gotta get my thirst taken care of here quickly. Alright. But then I need a bucket. I don't have a bucket. Hmm. <laughs> or can I drink this somehow? I wonder if you put water in like a vanilla cauldron, what would happen? Because you can... I think you can fill a glass bottle with that too. I'm tempted to try that, but it might be a waste. Oh, I don't have my camel pack on. Okay, let's uh, maybe let's make some tools here too, before I forget. So we'll do the tinker's tools. Oh, we need sticks. And then we need the patterns. Just make a whole bunch of them. Um, so we have the axe head and the tool rod. 
So I want for sure the hammer, because we're going to need that for one of the quests. I want excavator. Oh, what, what, do, what do we need? We need stone, obsidian, or netherrack to make that. We don't have either of those. Maybe we'll make a scythe pattern. Uh, we'll need this for the excavator and the hammer, I think, and the tough binding. We pretty much want to just make all these, honestly. Regular binding. Let's make an axe and a shovel, like just the plain ones, because that's probably all we can do. Yeah, we can make that out of bone. Okay. Let's put these in our chest. Let's see, is this going... Here, let's try that test with the heat. I'm going to take my camel pack off. Let's see if my temperature increases when this turns on. Now it seems like it's the same, so I don't think it's actually putting out any heat, which is good. Alright. We are doing okay here. We got more dirt. Um, let's make our tools really quick. So... Oh, the sound. <laughs> These guys are so loud, it's annoying. Yeah, let's do the pick first off. Which is better? Is flint better or is bone better? This is 171 durability, 0.5 multiplier, copper level, and bone is 201 times. So that is definitely better. So we'll do that, I guess. I always thought flint was better. Hmm. And we'll do the same with the shovel. Good. And we'll need the tool rods. And... Oh, we get bone meal back. Cool. Made two of them. Good. Is that all we need? Let's go ahead and make them. Uh, shovel. Awesome. And then... Oh, we do need the binding for that. Okay, let's make a binding real quick. I don't think it matters what I make the binding out of, though. Ideally, paper would be best, but we don't have paper. Okay, just basic pickaxe. Ho ho ho! Yes! <laughs> we are so technologically advanced, we have a pick and a, ha and a shovel here, which is awesome means I can probably dig this stuff up now. Yeah. Great. Uh, let's make some more compost. Oh man, there's lots of just like constant things you need to do to survive like the composting. Until we can automate it anyway. Here, I'm gonna make or I'm gonna put one of these saplings in the chest just so I don't accidentally use it on something. Uh, what did this do? That did make the water. And I believe that was a quest thing, so let's check that out. Manual submit? No. Oh, you must you must use the QDS to hand in this task. Click select task, place the QDS, and then right click it with the quest book. Select task. Place the QDS and right click it with the quest book. Oh, so I just right click now? Yeah, okay. And then... Oh, I gotta... Oops. I gotta output it into that? Is that right? Okay. Oh, it's the wrong transposer. <laughs> Darn it. Um, Man, that is not easy to do. I might be doing this wrong, but I think I have to put it right next to it. Because I don't have any pipes or anything. Grab this again. Put it there. Once again, I'll make sure I bind it to that. And then I got to output into it, I believe. Oh, yeah, yellow. Good. I think we did it. Aha! Oh, and it didn't unlock anything new. Darn it. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. I wanted a new quest. Something that gave me food. Okay, so we should make food our top priority right now. We'll uh, 
put this back together the way it was. Oh, it's morning. I'm gonna put this back here too. Um, because we're down to four and a half bars. <laughs> These guys keep getting louder and louder. It looks like our trench worked pretty decently. Probably going to get filled up with creepers, but... Oh, our jerky is ready. Yes. Nom, 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 nom. Very good. That takes forever to convert. And it doesn't give a lot of food, honestly. But it helps. Let's get some more going. So somehow, I guess this is probably what we'll have to do. I got a rice seed. We might be able to plant this on dirt. We'll need a hoe. Here, let's get a hoe. Um, does it only have one deer ability? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a tinker's hoe, though, is there? Wait a sec. I don't think I saw one. I know there's a Maddox thing, but I didn't see that in the list. Yeah, we got nothing but creepers out there. Great. <laughs> um... Okay, we gotta be quick here because I do want to get outside before that stuff despawns. I'm just gonna make a a regular vanilla hoe, just one, just to get started here, because we need food. There's probably a better way of doing it, but I don't have time fig to figure it out right now. Plant that, good, and we will grow it. Excellent, and we got some seeds, some extra seeds. Let's do it just a few times so we can get some food. Oh, that was weird. I didn't click it, and it gave it to me. Oh, you can just hold right-click? I'm not getting seeds when I do that, though, so that's probably not the best. Oops, I did it <laughs> by accident, anyway. Uh, okay. So that's probably good. So that gave us rice. Okay, that makes two rice. Two rice makes two rice. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, to make flour, if we have that. Rice soup. Oh, it takes stock, though. Oh, no. Oh, these are all really complicated. This is not good. Oh, okay, that's what we're doing. That's simple. We just have to smelt it. It's probably not as good as some of those other ones, but it's quick food on the go here which is what we need right now. Uh, let's refill our camel pack. How many do we have? Oh, we got three, I think, from the quest there. Um, I want to get outside. <laughs> this is so bad. Let's get our needle gun ready. There's a spider on the roof, I can hear. Oh! Oh, I got no ammo! Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> flying spider. No kidding. That guy was all over the place. He was, he's got like Superman ability. Darn it. Oh, that might have been a mistake. See, I, w I would just let them explode, but they'll blow up the drops. Oh, man. Or me, I'm very low on health. Oh! <laughs> what, a, what a troll, man. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Oh, it's a baby creeper! It's okay, we got him. I don't have any needle gun ammo, do I? No, I never made any. Give me your drops! Oh, you got out. Oh. <gasps> Oh goody, I got a supercharged creeper by my house now. Just what I always wanted. Let's let's get these drops instead. Shall we? <laughs> I mostly just want the bones. Oh man. Oh, there's some more here. Good. Kinda wanna get out of the sun quickly here too. Oh, there's some more up here. <laughs> supercharged creeper that is wonderful that couldn't uh, have worked out better this is so dumb 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> one left. It's a blue one. I don't know what... What does it say? Oh, that's the lightning creeper. That's the one that did it. Yeah, and everything despawned before I got there. Darn it. <laughs> so bad. Oh, and we're so hungry. I hope this, this is good food. Because we need good food right now. Oh, that's not bad. I think it gave us one bar at least. And we'll be able to heal up from that. So that's that's not too bad. We're not terrible. Not in terrible shape right now. Uh, let me drop off some of this stuff. We got leather. That's good. What are these? Creeper plant seeds. Press Q to plant seed. So you throw it, I guess. Um, yeah, we just need some inventory space, really. Um, what should we do? What should we do? There's too many things to do. It's hard to focus. There is more dirt here. Got two more dirt. I guess we'll make some more water. Oh, we got five dirt on us. Wow. Alright. Let's get that going. And we'll head outside. Let's try to do the silkworm thing again. I wonder. Maybe if I just dug like a dug this deeper if they would drown because it was almost an effective trench hmm all right anyway hopefully we can get a silkworm today let's eat some more food the thing about the food in this from what I've heard the more you eat it uh, the less effective it becomes so I think eventually it will do almost nothing for us so we have to get lots of different types of food, um, which I'm not really sure how to get seeds. <laughs> Still no silkworm. Come on. Oh, there's creepers outside still. I thought we got them all. Let's, like, let's make one more crook. I don't know how important this is. Like, if I get string, I can make a bed, which might come in handy. Hey, <laughs> I heard you. Fire creeper. Uh, I'm always worried they're going to blow up when I kill them. But that guy was okay. He was cool. Alright. Silkworm. I'm about ready to give up on this whole silkworm thing if I can't get one. Still didn't get one. Okay, last treat. Last try. I was getting tons of them before. I don't know what's going on. Um, Alright, what should our plan be? You know what I should look into is how to get cobble too. Uh, there was those ingenious extruders. I wonder if we could make one of those. But they require lava. We also have that uh, petro stuff. I don't know if that touches water, if it's like lava where it will make cobble. But we could try that. Might be a terrible idea though, because <laughs> uh, it also let it sets the land on fire all around it. Yeah, no silkworm. Okay, I give up. We tried. Oh, there is one. There's one right here. Good. <laughs> that was like the sixth or seventh tree. Uh, so you guys said if I just click on one of the leaves with it. There we go. Yeah, infested leaves. That's nice. It has a progress bar even. So it probably takes a while, but it should spread to all of them over time. Um, I guess we're not really done, though, because we never got any leaves. Uh, so let's just do a little bit of shearing so we can get through the day. We need to find ways of automating things now. All right, that's good. Here, let's see if we can... Let's dig the trench here first. <laughs> okay, so we have this we have this water stream. Let's see if we can get it over here. And then do something with it. Wonder why I think it just didn't update. No, it doesn't want to flow that way. Oh, because I dug that hole there, that's why. Right? Flow this way. There we go. Now I can remove that. Okay. 
let's dig down one more. Or I could even use this Petro stuff as uh, like a lava blade, maybe, to kill these guys. Okay. <laughs> so let's be careful. Uh, we'll dig a trench to the water. I don't know how far this stuff flows. Oh, we're so hungry. This is terrible. It's also very hot, so we don't want to be by it for long. Come on. What's it going to do? Uh, it flows pretty far. I think if we just dig down one here. It might make cobble now. We will see what it does. Oh, did it float? Oh, no, it does make stone. It does make stone. This is a terrible grinder, though. <laughs> like a generator. Terrible uh, cobblestone generator here. There, I'm going to block. <gasps> oh, that scared me. going to block it. We can get at least two pieces here. Alright, that'll help a lot. We should get inside, though. Because... Oh, it's spreading. Look. Yeah, cool. So that is spreading. That's working. Definitely want to get inside, though. Because uh, those little guys are just brutal. They're so fast. You have no chance with them. Get some more dirt. Okay, so maybe now we will try to do the hammer. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's. It says stone. I think it will take cobblestone though, right? Wait, how many does it need? It needs eight. Oh, we're not even close to that. Never mind. <laughs> uh, get some more water, I guess. I wonder if we can figure out where we got this rice seed from if we uh, hit R on it. Oh. Really? Oh. Whoa. Oh, the stupid um, Petro stuff. I forgot they blow up in it. <laughs> Whoops. They're going to be blowing up all night now. Great. Oh, this is cool. So I thought you could only put dust in these, but there's lots of recipes. You got gravel ones. You can even get diamonds. Emeralds one for sand and soul sand lava gets you cooked fish <laughs> those guys are going to be blown up all night man um okay <laughs> ender egg interesting you can get the bushes from them drop chance 0% so it's very rare uh slimy Okay, and I guess this is where the seeds come from. So if we put dirt in these sieves, maybe we'll just try one. I don't really have a lot of dirt to spare right now. That's pretty cool, though. I like that mechanic. Oh, and you get tons of stone from it, too. That's great. Sugar cane seeds. I want to do one more. <laughs> it's like playing the lottery here. Uh, what are we going to get? I think we just got stone that time. Alright. Let's not waste too much. I got all this dust to convert. You guys said if I sit down when I do this, um, I don't waste my hunger on it, so that's that's what I'll do. Try it out anyway. And it's night time. I can't really do much at night anyway. So I'm just going to grind out this dust. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, look at all those goodies. We have a lot of dust here. Alright, I'm going to collect it because it's been a while. <laughs> I'm afraid they're going to despawn on us. Uh, 16 stones. That's good. Let's try to drop some of this stuff off. I should look into maybe an autonomous activator as well. Because I don't like uh, <laughs> the manual work here. And if we get one of those, we can probably use it on a lot of things. So that would be one of the best things to get first off. It takes tin, a chest, pneumatic servo. Ooh, seared brick. 
and a machine frame. Oh, Electrum. Oh, Invar. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Not happening. Is there any other, like, use items things? Oh, man. That one hurt. Really? Maybe we should look into hoppers. Okay, we got the vanilla hopper. It's five. You can use aluminum. Ominal directional hopper. It uses iron. We got the vacuum hopper. That's actually pretty expensive, though. Hmm. How much iron do we have saved up? Not a lot. Darn. <laughs> okay, we had some in there. Wait a sec. Wait a second, we might have enough for one hopper. We do, just enough. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, because we might be able to automate a few things with that. Would you kids get off my lawn? Seriously. It's getting annoying. I think our tree fully converted out there. Yeah, it's all white now. That's cool. Um, We're out of water. And still pretty hungry. <laughs> it's alright. We didn't get a lot of salt from the sieve stuff. I still have some dust though, but still. Uh, we can make some more dirt. Oh, we had some in here too. Good. So we're in pretty good shape here, I feel. The main thing is I just gotta be careful with these mobs that I don't die to them, and I think we can go a long ways. Um... I guess I'll make some more water. <laughs> the never-ending job. And then a chest, and we can get a hopper. And we'll see if we can automate, like, the seeding stuff. Like, if we can input. Although, when I place this... Yeah, I can get this back. I gotta pick. No. <laughs> Darn. I can probably take it out, though. Maybe. Let's try put the hopper underneath. Although the drops, I think, uh, land upwards, don't they? Where do they go? Oops. Mm. Oh, it might be working. No. Yeah, they jump outwards. That's no good. Okay, just one last thing we'll try this episode. We have to end this pretty quick. Maybe if we put the hopper above and blocks around it, it'll work. Maybe. Uh, we will try... Well, <laughs> I don't want to use dirt. That's actually a really useful item. Oh, I dropped it. Um, here, I'm going to put some sand. Just to test this. Because the item should pop up through the hopper and then land on top of it. Let's check this out. that work? Yeah, okay. So if we put a chest next to this, it should automatically go into the chest if we make the hopper face it. Ouch! <laughs> Kill myself with my dust? Are you kidding me? Alright. Yeah, if we do that, we'll put these in so we can watch it fly up. And we'll take one more glass. Like that, and that should be good. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Just a little something. It helps. And then if we move our chair in a better spot, like right... Ooh, right here would be good. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Maybe over here for now. No, that doesn't work. Alright, anyway. I'll, I'll figure it out. We need to end this episode, though, and I need to get outside there for the start of the next one, probably. Uh, but thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.